Hi guys, this is Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This is all 12 signs for Monday. Let's do this. Let's see what we got. Who's coming towards Aries? What's coming towards Aries? I'm going to do you and I'm going to do the person. Now you can flip it, switch it however it resonates with you. But one side resonates versus the other. Aries, somebody is thinking about a, uh, offering somebody something. When you're looking at something from a different perspective about an offer or you're, you're really analyzing this offer, um, this may be somebody wants to rebuild. They want to offer their cup. Um, they want to rebuild something with you. They want to be with you and they want to rebuild. But you are unhappy about some kind of betrayal. Some kind of betrayal happened between the two of you. Now, on the other person, um, they're they're like trying to find peace and happiness here. They're trying to find peace and happiness. They are trapped in their head needing to heal. This could be you. They've got to heal. They're out in the cold trying to get some clarity. Somebody's out in the cold wanting to find out if you're going to take their offer, if you're going to accept what they're offering you. There is an offer coming into you, Aries. Um, but you're back and forth about it and they're waiting. Okay. And this, there's a new beginning here. There could be a new beginning here with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So guys, all I can say is for you, Aries, you have somebody who's wanting to offer you something and rebuild with you, but you're overanalyzing it. You're overthinking it because of a past mistake. Just know retrograde is um is real and it is coming we're in the shadow stage of it but it starts april 21st through may 14th so be careful with that um, this person really wants to know what you want or what you think um, they're trapped in their head about healing a situation but they are manifesting peace they are coming at you correctly they are coming at you with the right intentions so let's go to taurus what do we got for taurus what do we got for Taurus? What do we got for Taurus? Taurus, what do we got for Taurus? Okay. So I feel like you're single and abundant Taurus. I feel like what's happening for you is you have choices that you can make right here. There are choices in front of you, choices in front of you. With this pre-empress energy, you have a choice, right? And you're a little nervous or trapped in your head having sleepless nights about a family situation. Like, you know, somebody who fills all 10 cups to you because you feel like you're rushing into a relationship. You feel like you're being rushed, but you have the decision to make here but it's, it's kind of bothering you. It's almost like you really have to think it through. Take some time to think about it because you feel like you're rushing into a relationship. You are single and abundant. On the other hand, you have somebody who is okay. I can see why Taurus, I can see why you're hesitant. I can totally see why you're hesitant. You have somebody who is um, trying to block you from waiting. They're trying to block you from waiting, but there is some kind of betrayal here with this King of Swords, somebody who is being very strategic. Um, they, there is some kind of betrayal here and, um, divine timing. You're going to find out, you're going to find out in divine timing about all the strife, jealousy, competition, and drama around this person right? So what's happening is somebody is like pushing for you to get into this relationship with them. They're, they're, they're like, this is almost like they're really trying to get you into, I don't know if it's moving in with them or if it's, um, somebody wants, they want to leap into a relationship. They want to rush into a relationship here, right? But they want to block you from waiting and you really want to wait because that's what you feel is we're rushing this. We don't want, you don't want to rush this. 
Um, but there's betrayal with, with options and stuff. So take your time, think this through. This is not something you should, you know, you're trying to master your emotions and they just want their wish fulfillment. This is about commitment, but there won't be any give, equal give and take. So be warned on that one, Taurus. Be warned on that one. This person doesn't have good intentions. They're just trying to rush into something. Uh, they have ulterior motives. Most definitely ulterior motives here. Okay. Gemini. What do we got for Gemini? What do we got for Gemini? Okay. So I'm going to say right off the bat, Gemini, one of you is an emperor and one is you and one of you is an empress and one of you is an emperor. And there is a third party in here. Okay. So somebody from the past kind of guarded and defensive in empress energy about a queen of pinnacles or queen of pinnacles, queen of wands. Somebody from the past is very guarded and defensive. Empress energy about this queen of wands needing strength for a very long time. You have over here, you have um, somebody trying to move past a tower moment. It looks like the emperor is trying to sugarcoat. Sugarcoat it. They're sugarcoating it. They're trying to move past a tower moment. They're trying to go from rough waters to calm waters and have smooth sailing, but there's a tower moment. Like they're in the moat, they're trying to sneak around all the all the all the boulders that are falling, right? Emperor energy. Um, doesn't want what the emperor is trying to pacify the empress here. That's what this is. This person is trying to pacify you because they're trying to sneak back past the tower moment, right? Because the emperor doesn't want to argue about the juggling. He just wants to take that leap of faith and move forward, right? He just wants to jump in. Um, he doesn't want to fight about this queen of wands. He's the king. See, he's the emperor in a lower vibration here. You're discontent with him. You're a little, you're a little kind of put off by some of the stuff he's done and you're a little irritated and he, he's watching. What's he watching? You see, you saw the harsh truth, you know, the truth about him. And so you're a little irritated with him. He's trying to sneak past. He's trying to pacify you. And you're like, no, I'm a little irritated about this. We're going to have this, these arguments and fights about this queen of wands. Give me some clarity about this queen of wands. See, you're trapped in your head about the deception. Is it still going on? Is it still going on, Emperor? He's thinking about you, Ten of Cups. You're thinking, you're thinking about having this heart-to-heart -heart communication with him. But is it still going on? Mm. He's looking back at his past mistakes. So you're trapped in your head on whether or not there's deception, but he is, he is, he's kind of solid, stable, and dependable now wanting to reconcile, but he's having to face his mistakes from the past. I feel like it's okay, but you still have your doubts. So whoever here is the Empress is having doubts about, is it completely over with this queen of wands and the emperor is trying to skate by the fact that that is the tower moment. And he needs to deal with it head on if he wants to be successful with this relationship with this empress. Okay, my Kansas, my Kansas, my Kansas. What do we got for the Kansas? What do we got for my Kansas?
So what I see here for cancer, I feel like somebody had a choice. There may have been a choice. Give me clarity on this. Mm -hmm. There was obsessed with a choice. Somebody was obsessed with a choice, but this was a four of wands relationship. And somebody was heartbroken and out in the cold, discontent, looking back at past mistakes. So this person may have left the wrong person, right? So the heartbroken out in the cold, discontent, looking back at their past mistakes has to do with the four of wands relationship because they were obsessed with a choice. The choice could have been they chose the wrong, they made the wrong choice, right? Because I feel like I feel like with this three of cups, somebody's celebrating that something's over. It could be a third party ending or they're celebrating that something's ended. Somebody here may want to apologize to the Empress or the pre-Empress. Somebody's, somebody's celebrating that something ended here. They want to apologize. They want to apologize to the Empress here. Um, Empress again with that nine of pentacles um, and the, and the um, queen of pentacles, two of cups. So it's almost like this would be your side cancer and this would be the other person's side. Somebody was obsessed with a choice. I feel like, and that would may be the person that's apologizing to you because you were the four of wands, right? But you were left heartbroken out in the cold discontent. It could go either way. Let me get some more clarity on this. Somebody was obsessed with the choice. You have the four of wands, a foundation. Somebody was heartbroken, left out in the cold. Discontent about looking back at the past. Okay, this is you, Cancer. This is you. Somebody made a decision, and you're the four of wands here. They left you out in the cold, and now you're unhappy looking back at the past. You don't want to deal with the past. You don't want to deal with the past. Whatever they chose, they're celebrating that it's over, and they want to come and apologize to you and because they're saying that you're their person. You're, they, that you, they want something with you, that you're their person. But I feel like you may be moving on from this because you don't want to look back at the past. You're just discontent with looking at the past mistakes, right? You may be moving on because there's no equal give and take here. And you may be cutting out somebody who is your 10 of cups. You may be cutting them out. It's like, look, you made your choice. Move on. See, because somebody took a leap towards a new passionate beginning and um, they held on and juggled, and now they're at a crossroads because they feel betrayed and backstabbed, and they want to come in and offer you their cup and tell you the truth and have happiness and, and recovery, but you know, you're just waiting for that tower to fall on their head, basically, because you're like, no. If, you know, if there are two people and you are caught up on picking somebody, please pick the other person. Please pick the other person because the minute you put somebody in, in a, a choice between two, you've already lost. You've already lost, period. So that's what's happening for you, Cancer. Okay, so let's see what's happening for Leo. What do we got for the Leo gang? What's happening for the Leo gang? What do we got for Leo? What do we got for Leo?
Leo, I feel like your pre empress energy, you could be using your intuition here about love with a um, emperor in a lower vibration or an Aries Leo Sag taken out resonates with you. Um, I feel like you're single, but you're using your intuition about love with this person uh, because something had come full circle. Something had ended, so something new could begin with the Queen of Swords. So they may have left you for somebody else. Okay. So on their half, um, there were they're they're hiding, they're hiding how anxious they are. This is terrifying, this person coming back towards you, Leo. They're hiding their their um that they're having sleepless nights and stressed out. They feel like the tower is gonna fall on their head and they're a little unhappy. Um it's almost like Because they feel the ending coming. They feel they feel something coming, an ending, and somebody's watching it. Somebody sees the ending. Somebody's watching this end. So what's happening? Who sees this ending? Mm. See, okay. Now, two things can be happening. They're telling you to use your intuition, right? There's an opportunity for you to see something from a different perspective. My camera is way back from where it should be. So there's an opportunity for you to see something from a different perspective, but you need the strength to move forward. So I feel like you, you know, this person's going to come back to you. They are going to come back to you. They're saying, use your intuition. You're single, use your intuition. You're waiting. You're thinking it through. They're, they're wishing, they're wishing for love with you, right? They did leave you for somebody else, but this person betrayed them, or this was a betrayal to you. I feel like with this, whatever, you know, they're, they know they broke your heart. So what they're hiding how stressed they are because they know they broke your heart and the tower is them being discontent because you might not reciprocate with them what they want. So just keep that in mind. This person that, that, that screwed you over is terrified that you're not going to accept them back, but you do have an opportunity to see it from a different perspective and, and, and make your decision. So this is, it's all up to you at this point, Leo. I need to move this camera back a little bit. The camera angle is not right for me. Okay, we'll leave it there for a minute. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, this will be okay. Okay. Virgo. What's happening for Virgo? What's going on for Virgo? What's happening for Virgo? Okay, so there's a tower moment because somebody's, you know, their wish, their wish, somebody's wishing for a tower moment here. Um, somebody's jealous of some of a commitment. Somebody was very jealous of a commitment here and a choice from the past. It's been a long time since you've heard from this person or saw this person, but you felt like they were your person, that you felt that connection with this person, but you left them out in the cold for a third party. And now you're trying to rush in and have a victory. That's what's happening. So this may be you, Virgo. This may be the person that you left behind. So there, they may have thought that this was their wish as well, but there was a tower moment on that wish because there was a lot of drama in something that could have been long-term and committed because of a choice that you made in the past. Somebody is pre-empress here. You wanted to be, you want to be with this pre-empress, but there was an ending here because of a queen of swords. You left this person behind. You made a choice that the choice that you made in the past, you left them out in the cold for a third party. And now you want to rush in and have a victory being with this person who you had a strong connection with, 
But the problem is, is that you made the wrong choice. You made the wrong choice, right? Somebody here is obsessed with remorse because it's almost like they want to reconcile. They're manifesting this in divine timing, but I feel like with this, may communicate. I feel like it's a pre-empress that you're communicating with. Um, it is a pre-empress. Queen of Pentacles would be the pre-empress. This could be you, Virgo, as well. There, there may be an argument or fight. Somebody is being very, very strategic about a new beginning. So you got a King of Swords. Somebody's being very strategic about a new beginning. This person's plotting and planning, trying to win, right? Because they want justice. But the harsh truth is, the harsh truth is, someone needs to recover where the Empress is concerned. King of Pentacles, you can't make that up. You're trying to recover something, but the harsh truth. You had an Empress on your hands and you let it go for a third party. How many times has that been your story, Virgo? How many times? I just have to say that. How many times? I mean, we could go around that mountain a million times, but that's what happened. Okay, so Libra. What do we got for Libra? What's happening in Libra? What's happening in Libra? What's going on for my Libra gang? What do we got? Okay. Um, what, right out the gate, right out the gate, I have, somebody is very unhappy about a harsh truth being spoken and somebody's needing to recover and they want justice. King of swords. There you are, Libra. They want justice right in a new beginning. Somebody is mad about something they found out and they want justice here. Um, on the other hand, somebody divine timings at place. So something was meant to happen here, guys. Somebody's cutting somebody out and they're going to regret it because then they'll see something from a different perspective about this ending because they're going to be trapped in their head about it. So, you know, um, this may be you found out about somebody. Here's a king of wands. Um, somebody was juggling a king of wands. The harsh truth that you're what you're unhappy about, the harsh truth that you need to heal and want justice, Libra, is that you started a new beginning with somebody and they were cheating on you with somebody else and they made a decision to cut you out, but they're going to regret it. So apparently you were the better choice, which is fine. You were the better choice here and they're going to see it from a different perspective about this ending and they're going to be trapped in their head about it, right? Because you won't be talking to this person because of their options. You're, you're just, you're not, you're not going to talk to this person because of their options. Like, no, thank you. Okay, Scorpio, my Scorpios. What's happening with my Scorpios? What is going on with my Scorpios? Somebody's very guarded and defensive because there's no equal give and take with a queen of wands and it's causing a tower moment for this emperor. They're unhappy and, and they're like, they're in this king of pentacles mode. This is the emperor. It's the same person, right? Um, on the other hand, this is you, Scorpio. You're manifesting, you're manifesting queen of cups. You're two of cups. You could be a wife and a husband. You could be, 
you could be um, wanting to be married. You may be married, um, but you're you're making a decision. They need to make a decision to cut out. It could go either way. This could be you over here. Scorpio, this could be you that you feel like there's no equal give and take and you're kind of guarded and defensive. There's a tower moment because of this queen of wands and, you know, with your husband, this could be your husband, the emperor, king, king of pentacles, and they're manifesting you, their two of cups, wife, right? To uh, And cutting out the queen of swords, which will be the queen of wands. They may be manifesting you and cutting out the third party because they know there's no equal give and take with that other person. Um, I feel like somebody wants to go from rough waters to calm waters and they want to reconcile with you, Scorpio. They want to reconcile. They want justice and healing a situation. They do want to come full circle with you. They do want things to happen, um, come back around with you. They want to cut out this third party nonsense, but I feel like you may even be married to this person because you're coming in as a king and a queen of pinnacles. So this person's going to cut out the third party nonsense and they're going to, they may promise monogamy, which they should have to begin with, but it is what it is. So let's get into Sagittarius. What's happening with Sagittarius? What's going on with Sagittarius, please? Queen of Swords. Okay, so you have a Queen of Swords that's moving on to a new passionate beginning. Somebody's very trapped in their head about the deception being left out in the cold. Take it out, resonates with you, male or female, doesn't matter. I feel like somebody wants to heal a relationship. But somebody's deciding to be single and cut somebody out because of mind games and manipulation. It's almost like you wanted a victory. You wanted a victory playing mind games and manipulating me. Okay, we're done. So you may be coming in as a queen of swords. In this case, Sagittarius. Um, you could be tired of somebody. You may be moving on to a new beginning with somebody else and leaving somebody out in the cold. Um, or their deception left them out in the cold. Let's see what's happening. What's happening? Somebody's going to see something different about the commitment. It's been a long time coming, but they do love you. So... What's happening is this queen of swords may have moved on to a new passionate beginning. And now you were trapped in your head, Sagittarius, about their deception and being left out in the cold. But they're going to come back around to you and want to heal the relationship. But you may stay, you may decide to stay single and cut them out because of their mind games and manipulation and them wanting to win, right? Um, they're literally trying to have a victory um, with their mind games and manipulation. And I feel like it has to do with the commitment. Now they're seeing it from a different perspective. And for a long time, it's been a long time coming, I feel like, but there is love there. They do love you, but they have betrayed you. They have betrayed you, but, and you're guarded and defensive. Yeah. So I feel like you're, you're kind of done with it. You know, it's like, you know, you can stay gone. We're good. So, you know, if you're going to act that way, you just stay where you're at. Okay, so Capricorn. What do we got for the Capricorns? What's happening for the Capricorns? What's happening for the Capricorns? You know, somebody wants, there's a choice here or a soulmate. 
that's somebody's wish fulfillment and somebody needs the strength to rush towards somebody and heal something with speaking the truth. But somebody may have watched you juggle and they're unhappy when there's communication that you want to be with them and have a victory. And it's like, wait a minute. You, <laughs> so in other words, they're communicating that they want to rebuild, but there's a tower moment because of their regret. Say they regret. They may have cut you out for a queen of wands. And, and now they're hoping to, they're, you know, they're hoping for happiness. It's illuminating that they want to move forward. They are, manif they are manifesting to come out of the cold. That's the problem is, is they made the wrong choice, right? So this person, their wish is to make a choice. They needed strength to rush towards you and heal a situation with the truth. But you saw their you saw it and you're unhappy about it and you're going to tell them when you communicate you know it's like they want to they want to have a victory with you this person wants to have a victory with you and they want to rebuild but the tower is is you're unhappy about the fact that this person may have cheated that you saw what they've done and you're just like no people aren't happy with that you know people don't want the past back they're not they're not looking if this isn't a divine soulmate the people that are being cheated on by just you know um somebody who's not a light worker somebody who's just a soulmate right they're not wanting that back they don't want to deal with that bs they really don't give me aquarius what's happening with aquarius There's a wish fulfillment of a third party. Uh, they want the emperor and they're very jealous. They're, they're trying to cause a lot of drama with the emperor. This person's wish fulfillment, the, the wish fulfillment of a third party to cause a lot of drama with the emperor. But somebody's gotten some clarity about what this person's about and they don't want to talk to somebody. They don't want to talk to them. Um, but the burden of truth about the family situation is this, this emperor could be married. And there's a family situation with the queen of pentacles, but it's a burden of truth um, that, you know, I feel like this, this emperor is keeping having to defend himself against to his loved one, um, you know, to, about trying to move forward, but because they're trapped in their head about this third party's nonsense. I feel like the emperor wants to apologize and close out a cycle. Divine timings at play here and two wants to come out. Somebody has been toxic for a very long time. Something's been toxic for a very long time um, and had to do with this betrayal of love. It's been a betrayal of love. But what I'm seeing here is the person that's toxic that keeps wanting to try to cause drama is the third party. I don't feel like it's the emperor here. I don't. Um, it's like the devil energy. Somebody's obsessed for a long time with a betrayal of love. So, you know, that might be, that might be that the, the, um, the wife here in this case, Aquarius is obsessed about the betrayal of love. Um, but you want to apologize and close out the cycle. I feel like there is a toxic individual here and it's the third party that's always trying to cause drama here. You know, and you're not speaking to this person. So um, it's almost like the burden of proof is on you that you are no longer even engaging in this with this third party. Um, but I feel like you have to, you have to prove yourself to your person because you did betray them in love. That's what I'm seeing for Aquarius. Now give me... Pisces. What's happening for Pisces? What's happening for my Pisces?
What's happening for Pisces? So I feel like Pisces, there's no equal give and take with somebody from the past. You could be the queen of swords. You could be the pre empress. You could be the king of pentacles. Take it out. Resonates with you. You're, you're trying to be, you may want equal give and take with somebody from the past. You may be being strategic about reconciling, but you're out in the cold having to try to take that leap of faith from out in the cold. I do see that there is a pre empress here, somebody from the past, four of wands commitment. So this is a maybe a twin flame here. Um, so a four of one, 10 of pentacles, four of one commitment with the, it, with a, um, um, could be a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Somebody wants justice. So somebody wants justice with a pre empress. It could be the empress, pre empress wanting justice with the, the, um, King of pentacles, or it could be the King of pentacles wanting justice with the pre empress, but you want to reconcile with this person, but you're having to do it from out in the cold. Somebody made a decision to cut somebody out for their happiness. There's a relationship that somebody wants to rush into. Somebody's guarded, manifesting communication with the king of wands. It could be an emperor on lower vibration. Because of the burden of a new beginning in love, someone feels betrayed by somebody. Do oh, somebody was doing magic. Okay, so, you know, this is guarding protecting themselves against magic right um communicating to a king of wands there's a king of wands here it could be an emperor on a lower vibration uh, the burdens of love the burdens of love um because somebody was betrayed by an illusion right uh with that high priestess energy somebody who knows a lot of esoteric um knows more about the esoteric than most people right higher level of knowledge here um they they betrayed somebody with magic that's why it ended that's why they ended it with this person. Pisces, if you did magic on somebody, that's why it ended. And they're very, they don't want anything to do with that. That's why they cut you out. They wanted their own happiness. But if somebody was, now, not everybody does magic. Take it out, resonates. You could be the other characters in this reading. So, guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope everybody has a fabulous week.